sir now in this video just i want to i want to talk about the most valuable important question for the entire room how many types of drivers are available what is the topic name sir types of drivers how many how many types of jdbc drivers are available okay sir before going how many how many types are there just let me review what is the purpose of drivers are first so that you people can aware sir i have java application is there sir assume then it is a java application are you getting that i have java application is there now i want to communicate with the database sir assume it is the database from java application if you want to communicate with the database ava java specific calls we have to convert into database specific calls database specific calls we have to convert into java calls are you getting that compulsory some translator is required to convert java calls into database specific calls database specific calls into java calls this a translator is a nothing but driver software have you remembered right in the last videos we covered very clearly what is the need of driver software sir sir to convert java calls into database specific calls database specific calls into java calls some translator must be required that translator is nothing but one driver software clear for all of you right sir now my question is how many types of drivers are available okay like simple answer sir how many how many drivers are available sir very important question for the entire room compulsory sir you people should have clear clarity about this one how many drivers are available yes 2 3 4 are thousands of drivers remember the in the market thousands of drivers are available sir every day to day new drivers are going to be added remember but all jdbc drivers are divided into four types based on the functionality and based on architecture remember this one the how how the driver internally implemented what is the architecture it, it follows what is the functionality of this internal driver okay like based on the functionality based on the architecture all these drivers are divided into how many types right four types right remember this one sir i will just provide what is the type 1 driver what is the first driver automatically you have to tell the remaining driver names sir remember this one sir what is the first one sir what is the what is the first one type 1 driver <laughs> what is the first category sir type 1 driver is the first category right can you can you spell out what is the next one what is the next one type 2 driver what is the type 2 driver similarly okay type 3 driver type 3 driver next uh, type 4 driver right okay type 4 driver so total jdbc drivers are divided into how many types right four types of drivers are there in the entire room if entire person is asking hey, how many jdbc drivers are available then immediately your answer should be four right sir what is the first category type 1 what is the second one sir type 2 type 3 type 4 but anyway for this based on the functionality some other names also available right type 1 driver is also known as jdbc jdbc odbc bridge driver are getting what is the other words sir for the type 1 jdbc odbc bridge driver or simply some people may use bridge driver remember this one simply some people may use one bridge driver right sir type 2 driver type 2 driver is also known as partly partly java okay partly java native api driver sir sir very very simple native api native api partly java driver type 2 driver is also known as what native api partly java driver or simply native driver or simply native native driver sir uh, this is the second second driver is all type 2 driver is also known as the same way type 3 driver sir uh, type 3 driver is also known as okay all java all java net protocol driver all java net protocol driver or network network protocol driver network protocol driver 
or simply other word we can use middleware driver what is the other word sir middleware driver like so uh, this type 3 driver also known as all java net protocol driver or network protocol driver or simply middleware driver sir same way type 4 driver type 4 driver is also known as pure java driver type 4 driver is also known as pure java driver or are okay native native protocol driver native protocol driver native protocol driver or or sir simple thin driver or simple what is the other words are thin driver okay remember but anyway don't worry about these words once i'm introducing the functionality of these drivers then you can able to understand uh, these parts clearly right but just uh, simply remember sir how many types of jdbc drivers are there how many types of jdbc drivers are there sir four types so what is the first one type 1 driver type 2 driver type 3 driver type 4 driver right next what is the purpose of driver software to convert java calls into database specific calls database specific calls into java calls some translator must be required that translator is nothing but database driver clear right sir most valuable important question for the entire room in jdbc how many types of drivers are available immediately the answer should be what four types right but uh, there is one small confusion point is there sir what is that point here is observe that sir basically how many types of drivers are available sir four drivers sir. but suddenly very recently okay there is one software company named with uh, progress data direct what is that company name sir progress data direct this uh, company people are introducing introduced uh, one one special third party driver sir that uh, driver they named as type 5 driver okay sir progress data direct a third party person introduced one driver they are telling that it is the type 5 driver but anyway as of now industry uh, jdbc not jdbc industry recognized driver this so in the interview room if an interview person is asking how many types of drivers are available simply you have to tell only four types of drivers only type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 clear for all of it so make sure you people should aware sir very important entry equation we are discussing in jdbc what is the purpose of driver how many types of drivers are there okay to convert java calls into database specific calls database specific calls into java calls some translator must be required that translator is nothing but a driver in jdbc four types of drivers are available based on the functionality and the architecture type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 other names are there don't worry much while discussing these drivers in detail then i will repeat once again right are you in a position to understand right just uh, let me review up to this whatever we covered right okay just uh, have a look once uh, sir listen this one sir while here observe just i i am um, i just i spell out what is the purpose of driver sir while communicating with the database while communicating with the database we have to convert java calls into database specific calls java calls into database specific calls and the database specific calls into java calls okay for a this driver software is required are you getting right to convert java calls into database specific calls database specific calls into java calls some translator is required that translator itself is nothing but driver software next uh, in the market thousands of drivers are available right but based on functionality and the architecture all drivers are divided into how many types right four types only remember that sir very very important question how many types of drivers are there what is the purpose of driver software these two things you should aware sir what is the first one type one type three type four driver right okay there are four types of drivers are available sir type one driver also known as jdbc odbc bridge driver or simply bridge driver right next uh, type 2 driver also known as native api partly java driver or simply native driver are you getting it is internal use some native libraries i will explain sir that's why native api partly java driver or native driver clear next uh, type 3 driver also known as all java have you observed right it's purely developed in java only all java net protocol driver or network protocol driver sir all java net protocol driver or network protocol driver 
this driver internally uses middleware server that's why it is also known as middleware driver everyone can able to understand that okay that's all this is the type 3 next uh, type 4 driver right type 4 driver also known as all java native protocol driver or pure java driver or simply thin driver uh, it is the oracle specific terminology anyway it is also known as a thin driver right up to this is the clear right so i am repeating multiple times if any person is asking in the entire room do you know how many types of jdbc drivers are there Get left and right there are four types of jdbc drivers are available type one type two type three type four if you are interested you can spell out these words also okay like next and after that even there is a note also i provided sir after that progress data direct software company introducer type 5 driver it is not the industry standard driver even the introducer it is a third party software company but the industry sir standard drivers are four only sir they are introducing type 5 driver but industry not yet recognized yeah one jdbc standard driver that's all are you able to understand basic introduction what is the driver how many types of drivers are there what is the purpose of each driver right okay if you feel comfortable in the next i will talk about what is the architecture of type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 type 5 next uh, how we can use uh, these uh, drivers uh, for our jdbc programming i will explain so that you people can get much clarity in the subject clear right sir sir here this is architecture diagrams of all jdbc drivers sir all the four drivers are already there on the screen so that you people can get much clarity at a time right just observe that so i will explain very briefly just uh, type one driver you know already all these things right java application type one driver type one driver communicates with the odbc driver odbc driver communicates with the database have you observed right type one driver i mean java application communicates with the type one driver type one driver communicates with the odbc driver odbc driver communicates with the database type 1 driver converts jdbc calls into odbc calls odbc driver converts odbc calls into database specific calls remember how many how many conversions are required sir two conversions are required two levels of conversion is required remember performance is going to be affected right sir these are type type 1 driver never recommended to use what is the reasons for that one is performance is down next uh, internally type 1 driver depends on odbc driver odbc driver concept applicable only for windows machine automatically my type 1 driver can work only for windows machines are you getting that's why this driver okay not at all recommended to use another reason is also there sir for the type 1 driver type 1 driver provided by some microsystems at the part of jdk but from 1.8 version onwards no such type of support sir until 1.7 version only type 1 driver is there that's why type 1 driver not at all recommended to use are you able to identify three reasons right one is sir two conversions are required performance is down second one is type 1 driver can work only for windows platform because internally it uses odbc driver third one no support from 1.8 version because of that this type of driver not at all recommended to use this driver is snail driver because it's a very very slowest driver sir because of two level conversions like this driver is the worst not recommended to use that's all next after that we discussed about type 2 driver also very simple sir type 2 driver type 2 driver sir converts jdbc calls into database specific native library calls are you getting sir jdbc calls into database specific native library calls sir which can be able to understand by database but the problem with this blady driver is it is database dependent driver it is platform dependent driver if you change a platform you require to change the driver if you change a database you require to change the driver that's why because it is both the platform dependent and database dependent driver because of this reason this driver not at all recommended to use clear for all of it sir this is the diagram type 2 driver converts jdbc calls into database specific and native library calls which 
which it can be understandable by database relatively performance is good but the problem database dependent platform dependent that's why this a driver not at all recommended to use clear right next uh, there are next two drivers are highly recommended to use either type 3 or type 4 what about their architecture diagrams observe that sir sir this is about java application java application communicates with the type 3 driver type 3 driver communicates with middleware server middleware server which is going to communicate with the database now functionality observe how many components are there java application type 3 driver middleware server and then database sir ja type 3 driver converts uh, jdbc calls into middleware server specific calls middleware server converts uh, middleware server specific calls into database specific calls right two level conversions are required required but anyway sir the biggest advantage of this driver is it never communicates with the database sir getting it never communicates directly with the database that's why it is a database independent driver next uh, this uh, driver completely developed in java all java net protocol driver this uh, driver is also known as all java net protocol driver so it is completely developed in java that's why here do you know so platform independent nature by default will be there sir sir out of all four driver only driver which is a database independent which is the platform independent is a this driver only that's why highly recommended to use this driver for our applications right even some minor limitations are there only two limitations right one is performance is low because two level conversions are required second problem here is we require to buy middleware server that's why cost the cost of this driver is high when compared with the other but anyway by ignoring these two limitations sir advantages why database independent platform independent that's why this driver highly recommended to use clear for all of you next i covered about type 4 driver also there is a big Best advantage of type 4 driver sir type 4 driver communicates directly with the database it never going to use odbc driver or it never going to use database specific libraries or middleware server like the remaining drivers right remember java application communicates with the type 4 driver type 4 driver communicates with the database so type 4 driver converts uh, jdbc calls into database specific calls so it is directly convert into database specific calls performance is too good sir okay next uh, type 4 driver never required any extra component to communicate with the database that's why it is also known as a thin driver next uh, this uh, type 4 driver okay directly completely developed in java that's why it is platform independent driver sir if any person is asking can you please tell advantages of type 4 driver multiple advantages right it is a thin driver it won't require any extra component it is platform independent driver because it is developed only in java next and after that performance wise good because directly communicate with the database next security is more because internally it uses native protocol provided by database vendor clear right but only one small limitation is there for this type 4 driver what is that limitation is type 4 driver type 4 driver directly communicates with the database that's why it is one database dependent driver remember except that small limitation we never going to worry about sir uh, the remaining sir it's a biggest advantage sir multiple things are there that's why type 4 driver is highly recommended to you type 3 driver highly recommended to use type 1 and type 2 drivers never recommended to use clear for all of right these are architecture diagrams right what is the diagram what is the functionality what are the advantages what are the limitations like compulsory you people should have clear clarity right just go through the previous videos so that you people can get much clarity about each driver clear for all of it